Hey, what's going on? In my last video on this subject, you learned that Amazon sent me two recalled items on a liquidation pallet that I bought from them. You also learned selling a recalled item is a federal offense. So in the comment section, it was blowing up. Everybody's saying, sue Amazon, sue Amazon. They're grabbing their pitchforks and their torches. And I really thought about it and I know what I'm gonna do. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hey, what's going on? My name is Matt. This channel is called Flip Empire, where I give you every tool that I know to make you the best reseller you can be. In my last video, we established a few things, and I just wanna go over those right now. I have my, my iPad here with my notes, and so bear with me. I don't wanna miss anything. Selling a recall item, whether intentional or not, number one, can seriously injure or kill somebody. Number two, it is illegal under US federal law. And number three, it can carry fines from $100,000, it can um, cause imprisonment, and it uh, can cause major liability if you sell it. We also established that anyone who resells on any platform is potentially liable, including selling on eBay, Amazon, at swap meets, at your local garage sale, if you're a thrift store owner, any of those places, you're potentially liable for selling a recalled item. So it's extremely important for all resellers to know every item that they sell. All right, so that's our baseline. Um, one method that I use to source items is uh, buying liquidation pallets. And these are goods that may be new, used, discontinued, overstocked, or closeouts. So in January of 2018, I bought two pallets of Amazon returns and discovered two Vornado CS baby heaters. And um, these sell for at least $100 a piece on, on eBay. In February, when I was listing them on eBay, I learned that they were recalled. And in March, I made a video and posted it, and I'll put a link down in the description um, that documented the details of what I discovered. So I have a little bit of new information that helps shed a little bit more light on what's going on. So um, as I investigated, the recall was actually issued on January 31st, 2018. I bought my pallets in January. So Amazon had already liquidated those pallets. Okay, if I wanted to sue, which I didn't want to anyway, I don't want to wake the sleeping giant and um, I don't have the time and not the money to do any of that. So um, I did receive, however, some very good advice from some uh, comments that I received on the last video. And so I decided to take that advice and I found that Vornado is offering free replacements for any items that are recalled. And the good part is a receipt is not required. So let's go back in time one week to when my beard was a little bit thinner and I'll show you what I did. So after reading this, it says to um, stop using it, verify if it's been recalled using the serial number, which we know it has, permanently disable any recalled heater, All right, we cut the cord and then process the heater to receive a free replacement. All right, so we'll take this picture. All right, looks good. All right, then we'll send the picture to them and we will receive our replacement product, which is the AVH30 whole room heater. And we'll do that for both of these. Um, so this was one, and then this is the other one.
Okay, so we're out here on my front porch. Sorry about that gardener out there blowing dust around. The UPS driver just dropped off these two boxes. And if you can see the side, it says Vornado. These are the two replacement items that we got. And I'm gonna unbox them real quick and see what we got. And I believe these are worth about a hundred bucks a piece. And so I'll probably keep one for myself and then I'll probably sell the other one. But uh, really exciting. Uh, these actually came in in like four or five days, which is crazy. All right, well that's it. It's the end of my video. I hope that this uh, helped you out a lot. And if you did like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel. And that's it. And if you have any of your own stories or any of your own experiences that can really help out other resellers, please leave them in the comments uh, because I think that the network of resellers and the community that, we, that we've kind of built uh, is a very invaluable tool for everybody. So um, collaborate and uh, let's share stuff like this. All right. See you on the next video.